guys, Karen Wolf here in the art studio this evening. Hello, hello. We're going to paint this evening. Last week, um, I updated you on what was upcoming, uh, some paintings and things in the studio and online and talked about that. And I said, next time I come on here, we're going to paint something and that's what we're going to do. So, um, yeah, let me turn this uh, heater down a little bit so it doesn't dry out my eye. That's a little bit cool down here. So, um, I need to, hey, Tammy, I can see you on here. I can see your comment. That, that never happens. Ah, oh, hello, hello. That's crazy. Um, but I'm going to just, uh, paint this. Um, I've got one little trick for you I want to show you. If you have a canvas, this is a canvas that I had and I was painting on it. And I decided evidently. Uh, not to paint whatever it was <laughs> that I was going to paint, and I'm just going to show you. You can paint over. Um, you can paint over your canvas. Um, yeah. So you don't have to. Um, yeah, you don't have to worry about that. You can paint right over it. I'm just going to draw a little picture of uh, envelope here, and we're going to. I'm going to see what we come up with. I don't know. I've been seeing a bunch of these. I'm just going to make my version. Hey, D. Hello, hello. How are you doing, sweetie? All right. Now, I have your uh, painting for you, so next time you do <laughs> decide to paint, you can come and get it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, uh, I have it for you, so... Um, you, I can meet you with it, or you can come to the art studio and paint and pick it up then. <laughs> so, you know, hey. All right, I need some paint, don't I? Yeah, I don't have any paint on here. Let me see what I've got. Had the kids over. Did you all see that? I had um, Henry and Charlie were over over the weekend. I had and Jennifer had an event at the... Um, at the studio, um, for those of you who uh, got to participate in that, that would, that's great. If you missed it, uh, it was um, a great time. She had, uh, it was a relaxing um, workshop where they learned how to, uh, I should have gone. <laughs> she, you know, huh, where you learn how to relax, do some yoga, do some, you know, workout, eat some Really uh, healthy food. Just all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. Massages. I think they had some massages going on. So, I don't know why I have this long ways. Because you really don't need all that. Um, but here are the paintings that Henry and Charlie did. I have a painting uh, coming up. Painting party coming up. Uh, for the kiddos. In the studio. Of the, of the puppy. And Henry wanted to paint the puppy. Sorry, you're seeing the back of my head. Um, but Henry wanted to paint the puppy. So um, this is what we're doing in the studio. On Saturday morning, the kids have a kids party. Um, schedule. I have a kids party scheduled for Saturday morning in, in the studio from 1030 to noon. And this is what we're painting. And I asked Henry what he wanted to paint. And he said he wanted to paint the puppy. So Henry painted the puppy. And he does a really good job. I just uh, trace in the outline for him. And he paints inside the lines. Now, I did the eyes. He got, he he said he wanted me to do the eyes. He was ready to do something else. You know, how kids are. But um, he, he did all this. And he stayed right in the lines. And I outlined it and did the, the eyes for him. So, he does really good. He's five. He just turned five. He had a birthday. So, that was fun. So, if you haven't signed your kids up for that one or grandkids up for that one, that is a fun, fun, fun time in the studio. The kids love it. They absolutely love it. Um, it, uh, I just walk them through just like I do with the adults, step by step, and they do it. And this is Charlie's little giraffe. This is one of the art kits, actually. Uh, when you get the art kit, I'll just show you right now. 
when you uh, purchase the art kits. These are $15, and you can pick them up at the art studio right now. Well, not right this very minute. I'm not over there. But <laughs> you can pick them up uh, in the studio. Once you pay for them, you can pick them up in the studio, and uh, eventually I'll be mailing them out. I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, I work a full-time job and do this and do that, and I haven't gotten down to the post office yet to talk to them about shipping. Um, but these are the art kits for the kids. They come with the uh, uh, reference photo that you see here. They come with the, um, the paints, all the paints that they need. There's a little plate. There's a paper towel in there. A couple paint brushes. The canvas with the image drawn on it, just like Charlie did right here. This was one of them. And she said she wanted to paint the giraffe. I love to hear her say giraffe. Wish you all could hear that. Um, and... She's two. She'll be three in April, and she painted the giraffe. Of course, I had Henry. I was over here with Henry doing his thing, trying to get him going. And in the meantime, she was over here doing this and that and the other. Um, I'd already painted the background in. But when I got back over to her, I said, here, Charlie. I said, let me show you, just like I used to show how I started out with Henry, was I would paint... Uh, around the outside when you all get these for the little ones you just paint around the outside of the image and give them the brush with the proper color on it and tell them to paint inside of the lines and look how good she did i mean that is that is just amazing to me um it just blew my mind uh, but she's very careful, and Henry's, you know, he's helter-skelter just painting like a crazy person, and she's just very careful and calm. But she had no idea uh, what I wanted her to do, to do at this point because I was, <laughs> I was over there with Henry. It's hard to paint with two kids at the same time. But she did a really good job. She got her giraffe. Uh, I helped her write her name on it there. And that's uh, what it came from was the art kit. So if you guys are interested in art kits, I have the giraffe, a dinosaur, a tractor, and um, a unicorn right now. So that's the art kit. Those are fun, fun, fun. Okay, so but what we're going to paint this evening is, I don't know why I can't get that to come up on there. There I am. What I'm uh, painting this evening with you all is um oh when i opened this one up i was gonna open, i wasn't going to but i opened that up that's coming the um hearts uh in a jar upcoming studio painting so that's coming lots of lots of stuff happening lots of stuff happening oh thank you tammy thank you thank you hey sherry hey everybody welcome welcome all right, so I'm going to get my brush wet. I'm going to get this um, one-inch flat brush wet here. And I'm going to go into some paint. And I'll show you all that you can, with some paint that's not all dried out. Uh, welcome, Cherry. Hello. Appreciate you jumping on here live. Yeah, this is... Uh, Fun times in our studio here. This is my um, at-home art studio where there's some white. <clears throat> so I'm just going to show you that you can take your canvas that you thought you were going to paint something on. And I was going to paint that background teal. I truly was. I was going to paint it teal. This is what I had in my head. Maybe we'll paint the envelope teal instead. I don't even have teal. I'm going to have to make some. Um, but it's really um, no big deal to, um, to do that. Um, is to just paint over what you've got. Because acrylic paint is very forgiving. It really is. I was going to paint that white, and I painted that teal. I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, I know what I'm doing, but I, I had no idea in my head what I was going to do whenever I came on here, other than I, I keep seeing these envelopes with hearts coming out of them. I just keep seeing them, keep seeing them, keep seeing them. 
I actually wanted that to be the background color and the envelope to be purple. I've done it backwards. Oh well. You'll have that sometimes, won't you? It just happens. <laughs> oh me, oh my. Most of the ones I've seen have white envelopes. And I just wanted to add a little bit of color just because. But see how I've covered that up already? I have just taken a canvas that I would, you know, wasn't using, wasn't going to use, rather than to grab a new canvas out and use it to do this demonstration, I used one that I'd already painted on. So there you go. Pretty fun, huh? All right, so there's that. Just a little bit of color for my envelope. And I said, I was just kind of And no idea what I was even going to paint on here. Have y'all been painting? What have y'all been painting? Have you been painting Valentine's stuff? Have you been painting? What is coming up? We've got February coming up for Valentine's Day. We've got March is right after that. St. Patrick's Day. You have to go back and watch what you missed. I didn't do much. <laughs> I didn't do much, Melissa. I didn't do much. I run my mouth mostly. Uh, appreciate you being here. Thank you for jumping on. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm just going to get that a little bit lighter right there so it'll show up. I say lighter and then I go in darker, don't I? There we go. Get that a little bit. And then I'll probably go in with some white. <coughs> I have no idea. How you doing, Melissa? You been painting? You all been painting out there and doing all the fun stuff? Trying to find a paper towel? Here, I'll just use a rag. All right, so then I think I will go in with some purple and some white. I love purple. Purple is a very strong color, guys. It just takes a little bit. A little dab will do y'all on the purple. Uh, it is uh, really strong. It, it covers a lot, and a, uh, gosh, it just does. And the funny thing about it, though, is, is really weird, is it's a really strong color, and it doesn't take much to cover, and it'll over take stuff over really quickly. But I'm telling you, if you want it to be, if you want it to cover, if you want it to be, um, you know, a darker purple. It's hard to get it to cover, so who knew? Who knew? <clears throat> but just be patient with me here. I just, you know, sometimes how I do, I just come on here and just paint things, and we don't know what I'm going to paint, and it usually ends up pretty good, <laughs> right? It usually turns out fairly well. Some of them I have to work on a little bit later, get them right. Some of them, I love them immediately. But that's the way paintings are, guys. That's the way they are. Sometimes you love them and sometimes you don't. And you just have to tweak them a little bit. They'll come around. They'll come around. All right, there's my purple background. I'll see how that, and even with some of that blue showing through, I'm liking that. Get that covered up. See what else is coming. What else do we have going on? We have kids' paintings in the studio. I just loaded, um, just got the Valentine hearts. Is online, all my online painting stuff is on there. Any of you who paint uh, online with me, my online painting tutorials are on the website. They are ready, ready, ready. 
the memberships have them. You guys can paint them. They're ready to go. I have um, loaded the hearts. Uh, the daisy was already on there. I kept saying that was a new online painting, but it's already on there. And the um, puppy is available. So there's the heart, or the heart, the envelope. The heart. I'm just wisping on some white here to kind of make it not be so perfect. And then I'll put some purple up there. All right. But if you like painting with me, there are lots of ways you can. You can paint um, in the studio. You can paint online. You can paint um, in the memberships. I have two memberships. Those are fine. So lots of ways you can paint with me. Well, hey, Barbara. Hello, my friend. Welcome, welcome. There's Angie. All right. There we go. We've got an envelope in teal. I'm rinsing my brush. And a, a bit of purple uh, in the background. So we're having fun. It's fun stuff. I'm going to dry this a little bit because I don't want to all get yucky. <laughs> So, so far, so good. I may completely screw this up, but I'm going to try not to. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do some... Is that dry? Uh, this is my handy-dandy um, charcoal, my soft um, charcoal. Let's see if I move you guys up a little bit. Got you, got you to be able to... You got to be able to see. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a heart, some hearts, do some little hearts, big hearts, little hearts. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to put some hearts in my envelope. Might make this one turn a little bit that way. Um, do some, just want some hearts coming up out of my... Um, envelope. And then here, I'm going to write um, on this. Now, you could put uh, you could put um, I want this to come down a little bit. I want that to be like that. Um, gosh, Karen, spit it out. You could put um, like a, a note there, but I I didn't. Like, you know, like a love letter or something. There. <clears throat> we'll see. I may change that. But that's where I'm at right now. That's what I want. Okay. So, I'm going to go in with some really pretty colors and do, oh, uh, if I had pretty colors, I would do some, should we do all red hearts or should we do different color hearts? What do you all think? All red, I'm losing you on my iPad, so um, I don't know if you guys are making comments on, on here or not. I don't or what in the world's wrong with it? There it goes. You could make the O in love as a heart. I could. Yes, that's a good idea. And I better do that right now or I will forget. Tammy, you are just a, you're just a big help. <laughs> I can't get it to write because it's wet. When it's wet like that, it won't. So I need you guys to tell me, do you want all, are all these hearts going to be red or are we going to make them different colors? Are we going to make the hearts 
like some red, some yellow, some orange. Kind of like I did with the Jar of Hearts. This one, how it has different colors coming up out of there. Remember, this is an in-studio painting coming, coming. We've got the in-studio. This one is in-studio. There you go. Lots of stuff, guys. Hang out with me and paint. You'll love it. You'll have, you'll have fun, I promise. It is a blast. It really is. I always say painting's therapy, and it is. Painting's therapy. Different shades of pinks and reds. Got it. You got it. Different shades of pinks and reds. And see, that's the, th that's the beauty of this, guys. The beauty of it is, is you can paint this uh, your way. If you don't like, and I'm painting them a little light right now, starting out, because I want to get, uh, get a good, uh, opacity here, get them opaque a little bit first, because if I don't do that, the dark red won't show up. So, I'm going in, I'm going to have to do these little ones with a different brush. This, this one is not working. Okay. So, and I'm all over the place today. I am just like a crazy person, I swear. Um, painting is therapy, though, guys. Do it, do it, do it. It is an amazing uh, thing. You, a lot of people say, oh, it just stresses me out. Well, uh, and don't try to make all your hearts perfect. Make some of them have, like, big over here and little over here. That is like going to make your painting look so much better because if you try to make every heart just exactly the shape of the hearts, like all of them the same, you're going to hate it. Well, you won't hate it. You won't like it as well. <laughs> I should say. You won't like it as well. And that's four, so we're going to do one here. Because I, I do that. I have I have a tendency to try to do things like uh, perfect all the time. And I have to make myself not do that. So, I want you guys to try that. Try, try, try. Do you all do that? Do you, are you all, let me know. Do you all do the, do you like things to be like, oh, just exactly so? Or do you kind of, you know, color outside the lines? Just make it a little bit not so perfect. Not so. <clears throat> All right, it's coming along, isn't it? Coming along. We could have made this one like a, over top of that, but I wanted it to look like it was behind it. There you go. Oh, you love it, Dee? Thank you. Oh, I'm a Lady Bob Ross. <laughs> Melissa, that's funny. Thank you for that. That's a compliment. <laughs> I saw a video of his uh, paintings the other day. Uh, my daughter sent it to me, and it was so cool. Um, if I could figure out how to share it on my page, I would. It was a uh, maybe y'all seen it. It was a video of his paintings, of Bob Ross's paintings, and it said, and we all thought he was painting the same thing over and over again, and it, uh, he was painting a journey, and it showed, um, flashes of all of his paintings, just one right after another, one after another, one after another, and it was like a video of, like, a journey. Of, of all of his paintings. It was just so cool. Just so cool. 
<coughs> so cool. All right. So there, this one, I've got two red ones right beside of each other. I don't like that very well. Um, may change that a little bit. Make this one a little bit. Uh, maybe make this one a little bit middle, middle tone there. And make that other one a little bit brighter or something. Make one of them brighter. But it was really cool. I don't know. I think it was on, uh, I th it must have been on Instagram or something. But, um, yeah, when she sent that to me, I thought, oh, my gosh, that is so cool. So cool. So cool. I always did watch him uh, and was just mesmerized by his art. Just call her Roberta Ross. That's, that's so funny one. Oh, you guys are hilarious. Okay, let's see. Where are we here? I'm going to make a couple of these more red uh, over here. Darkening that a little bit. There. And that's a little bit wet, so it's not wanting to stick very good. It's hard to do it, get it to stick sometimes if it's too wet. What do y'all think? More hearts? More? Some little ones, maybe. Little bitty ones. I don't know if I want one down here or not. I don't know if I like that or not. That's just kind of drawing your drawing your eye down there. If I do that, I'm gonna have to put some around it. I don't know if I like that or not. What do y'all think? I don't know. I'm not gonna do that just yet. We'll see. See, told you, acrylic's forgiving, isn't it? It is. Okay, so this I'm going to come down here with a little, um, what color shall we do? I don't have a whole lot of colors to choose from on my plate. Could do a dark blue, a little bit of blue into this black, darken that a little bit. I don't know what I was painting with all this. Probably my heart jar of hearts, I think. All right, I'm gonna go Do you think, Jamie, did you, what were you talking about? You said it looks good. Do you, are you talking about the number of hearts that I have at the top or the heart that was at the bottom? I was going to write this in red. I think I'll make the heart red. But I don't want everything red. Do y'all think? The number of hearts you have. Oh, okay. Thank you. <coughs> I wish I could hear you guys. Like, you know, I wish you could, like, talk to me. 
<laughs> we'll have to invent that. I'm sure they already have. I think it's called Zoom. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, all right. So then I'll come down here. And I am not a big fan of um, writing stuff. I just, I've never liked uh, my handwriting. I just don't, um, I just don't like to do that. So, um, but hey, sometimes... And like I said, sometimes I do these things. I'm opaquing this a little bit because it was not showing up very good. Um, by adding some white. Sometimes you paint and you, like I said, sometimes you love it. And sometimes you paint and you don't. And you just have to go back and tweak it a little bit. And there's no, you know... No harm, no shame, no, you know, give yourself grace. I, um, I've painted many, uh, paintings and, um, changed things. So, like I said, I had no idea what I was going to do when I came on here. And this is... This is where we are. This is just where we are. So, I'm liking it so far. I hope you guys do. Let me know if if you do or you don't. If you see something that you think want, might need to be changed or something. I don't know. Okay. So, uh, that has the drawing around it. So, this... little bit lighter pink there. You know me, I miss everything has to be kind of dimensional. I don't know why I don't like things to be flat. That's just how I am. I like for things to be Highlighted and, you know, what not. Oh, my iPad's fouled up. I think I'm going to have to break down and get me a new one or something, guys. You're doing better today. Texting instead of talking today, my voice comes and goes. Aw, Tammy, I hope you're doing better. Oops. Touched that before it was dry, didn't I? Just softening, softening, softening. Getting those. Keep touching that before it's dry. Uh, maybe you should dry it, Karen. <clears throat> All right. 
me squirt that a little bit. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to get this charcoal off of here because that's going to drive me insane. Just taking a damp cloth and getting that. Don't do it before it's dry. Okay. Then I'm going to take a little bit of white. I need to get a little bit of white, clean white. And, and I'm using acrylic paint, guys. Don't forget that. I'm using acrylic paint. I'm going to do a little highlight, little highlights in my heart. Do a little highlight on the, uh, I'll do a little gummy part on my You know that where you lick it. The gummy part of the thing. So I'm gonna go put some yellow on there because of that that's not what's going up. Might have more control with a different brush. <laughs> right? I'm so messy with my brushes. Going over here, getting in the water, just splashing stuff everywhere. Okay, so I'm liking this pretty good so far. I'm liking that. Liking that pretty good so far. outline that just a slight outline nothing nothing too nothing too big this would make a just a cute little valentine painting just to hang up as decoration in your house or you could give it to somebody for a gift. I'm just going back over my little doodads again. They'd gotten faded out a little bit on me. And then just outline that just a smidge. There we go. Let's see. What do y'all think? Does it need something else, or are we good? Because I started to put hearts down here, but I, I, I think I like them there. I think I like that. I think... Cover up that little doodad that I did right there. There. I think I like that. I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, that is so cute. I'm glad I did that. I almost talked myself out of it because I was <laughs> saying you guys are probably tired of Valentine's because of all the Valentine's stuff that I've painted like me. It's not even Valentine's Day. You want to hear something funny? <laughs> want to hear something really funny? I'm not a fan. I'm not. It's so funny. You, I see these things on uh, Facebook all the time. You know, you're going through and they'll say, uh, you know, 
do you like it? Do you, are you a fan or not a fan of Valentine's? Do you decorate for Valentine's Day? Do you like Valentine's Day? Um, and I don't. Isn't that funny? But, um, I like to paint it. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, well, you know. Call me crazy. Oh, thank you, Tammy. I do, too. I like it, too. Um, it's just something different. Just something, um, just something fun to, oh, that looked really cute because it looks like there's a shadow there. Um, I did that on purpose. <laughs> Um, it's just something fun to do. Just, you know, sky's the limit. You can do whatever you, um, want to add to it to make it, uh, you know, yours. I just give you the idea and you can, uh, tweak it a little bit. So that one's fun, easy, didn't take very long at all. Um, you can do it. I used, uh, purple, white, blue and white, a little bit of black to darken my blue. And then I did white. So that's purple, blue, white, black, and red, green, and a little bit of yellow. Seven colors, 11 by 14 canvas, and two or three brushes. You can do it. You can do it. All right. And don't forget, we've got uh, the Daisy is in studio, uh, the Rustic Daisies in studio, the... Um, Oh, I better not have got paint on my my shirt. <laughs> this one is online, and it will be in studio also. Um, this one I just painted for my All Access members. You guys need to get in that group. If you are not in the All Access membership, you are missing out. We're going to paint this one next month. We are painting the bird this month. <coughs> <clears throat> well, we're going to finish it next month, and then we're going to paint the sheep, too. So we're painting this bird, painting the sheep. They're wanting to paint animals, and I'm all about it, because I love to paint animals. Um, but that's in uh, my All Access membership. Don't mean to confuse you. If you aren't in there, you need to be. <laughs> Um, and then the little puppy for the kids, uh, that's in studio and online also. So, um, there's lots of fun you guys can do online and in studio. Uh, lots of painting, um, is available. Uh, jump in, find something that you like, um, do it, um, and you will, um, like it. You'll get better at it. The more you do it, the more you practice, uh, the better at it you'll be. And it'll become more easier uh, it'll become more easier. I don't know if that's something. Uh, it'll become easier <laughs> for you <laughs> and, um, you'll enjoy it more. And painting is therapy, guys. I promise it is. So, and we all need that. For real? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Do it. Did you all see it up close? I'm proud of it. There you go. Fun times. All right. Thank you all so much. Have a great evening. I am going to wrap this up and then I'm going to clean up my mess and I'm going to do a Zoom call with my All Access members and we're going to talk about uh, some things and see what we can come up with fun to do in February and critique some paintings maybe. Um, just help them along. See what they need help with. Fun, 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 fun times. All right. Thank you all so much. Have a great evening. God bless you. Take care. And I'll see you back on here again next time. Bye-bye.